Good morning, traders. <clears throat> I am Stephen Davis, Senior Market Strategist. RJO Futures, it's Friday, October 9th. We're going to talk to you about the grain markets here in the next couple of minutes. Okay, crop report today, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Row crops and wheat are higher here this morning. A little bit, uh, uh, this doesn't happen usually because, before a big crop report. Nonetheless, buying coming back here. First chart of corn I got in front of you. Count the waves on this chart on corn now since our break in September. It's multiple, multiple, multiple waves, not one, two, or three. I do this on all of my charts. So this chart on corn looks good, and um, we'll kind of keep moving along here. China buying U.S. corn, this is a good story. Their, ho their hog herds continue to grow, and you just don't know how many hogs that China has in, in their country. In a very opaque economy, China, and the, the demand for U.S. corn is going to continue here from China. Very, very good story. Um, so far, China's bought 12 million tons of U.S. corn. To put this in perspective, last year at this time, they bought 200,000 million tons. So just gigantic purchases of U.S. corn by China here. Corn in China is $8. This trade works for them. They buy U.S. corn and ship it into their country and feed their hogs, and it's going to continue here. Uh, just a note of caution, these five agricultural markets. They do have big lawns in them, so markets don't go straight up, a little back and fill. And We'll see what the USDA has to say in a few hours, and certainly it seems like they would trim production, but the surprise would be if the yields were raised here on the row crops, for example. And Always you got to scratch your head sometimes how the USDA does things, so uh, we'll talk about this here. Soybean market here, okay, record long soybeans. Good chart here. I've got in front of you. It's trending higher. Kind of seems like it could continue. Again, there's almost a record long in soybean, a record long in soybean oil, so be careful being long here, but certainly by weakness. The palm oil party continues here. I love this soybean oil, which is a competitor to palm oil. The Chinese are buying palm oil. Soybean oil's trending higher here. Uh, the beat goes on here, and uh, fundamentals, technicals coming together on soybean oil. There's another market you can buy at lower prices. Okay, Mato Grosso, it's 105 degrees there in Brazil, their big soybean area. Um, it's the driest September in 40 years for Brazil. So, you know, rains are expected to come here in the 10-day forecast. Pretty important that they do. Last chart, wheat here looks good. We're looking for leaders from time to time. Wheat provides that. There's a lot of room here for the managed funds to add to their long in the wheat positions. Three quarters of Russia is very dry. Ukraine is very dry. Russia's wheat prices continue to rise, and their export ideas continue to rash it up higher. Okay, the report here in a couple of hours is going to be obje objective updates here. And uh, just, uh, again, China's hog herd, it's up a third. Uh, uh, next year, their hog herd will be up like a half of where it is today here. So kind of difficult to be short this market. It looks like more buying is going to be coming in. Let's all have an excellent weekend.